After running a $100,000 to win race for sprint cars in 1993, Earl Balda says, I have to do the same for the late models. And on June 6, 1994, that dream came to life. Hello everyone, I'm Greg Stevens. There are 99 late models in the pits here today, and every one of them would like to win the dream. I talked to some of them earlier and asked them if they ever thought they would see the day $100,000 would be paid to win a late model race. No, not on dirt I didn't. Um, it's got real lucrative on dirt and we have probably given up the other high goals we've had, uh, but we really never thought we'd see it on dirt. No, I don't think I ever did. Uh, I can't believe it uh, is even happening now. I'm just uh, glad to be a part of it here. No, really. We, it's just like a, you know, it's a dream like he's got it called, you know, that we get to run for that kind of money being in the dirt, in the dirt business to, to have a purse that big is, uh, it's super for the racer. Oh yeah, I was hoping it happened sooner or later and finally did, so we're glad it's here. Oh, not in this lifetime. <laughs> no, not really. I'm really glad Earl put this deal on. Late model racing needed something like this to kind of put it back up where the sprint cars are. Well, no, because when I started out, it was about $100 to win. When I started, I'd never dreamed that I'd ever pay 100000 to win on dirt. You always dream of something like this, but, you know, and you hear rumors that guys are going to try it, but if anybody can do it, Earl, you know, Earl Ballas, we figured he'd be the one to, to come up with the money, and sure enough, he's, he's the man that, that did it, and uh, it's just a dream come true, I guess. Money isn't the only thing Earl spent this weekend. He spent a lot of time in his water truck putting down over 120,000 gallons of water and praying everything would go well. Qualifying took up about three hours in the afternoon, and even though the track got a little dry, everyone's times were pretty comparable to their ability. At the end of it all, Steve Francis was fast qualifier at 16.445 and was guaranteed a starting spot in the dream. There was about four hours of downtime after qualifying, and drivers and crews spent time doing everything from working on their cars to playing cards, talking with the news media, cleaning off sponsor decals, discussing race strategies, signing autographs, or just plain having fun being there. Jack Hewitt and Charlie Schwartz posed beside a life-size picture of their longtime sponsor and friend, J.W. Hunt. I asked Jack about running in a race paying tribute to J.W. Well, that would be special if I won, you know, because I'm not just winning it for me, I'd be winning it for my crew and J.W.'s family, and mostly I'd be winning it for Mr. Hunt. You know, to win the first annual J.W. Hunt Dream Race, that would have to be extra special. I also asked a few of the drivers if they thought they could win the Dream. Oh yeah, you know, you always got a chance as long as you're out there on the racetrack. I don't know, there's a lot of good cars here. If we just make the show, we'll be happy. We'll just see what happens from there. Realistically, no. You know, my eye is definitely a handicap tonight. Um, I'm going to go out and give it everything I got, and uh, hopefully maybe at the end, you know, with a little luck and a little help from up above, we might uh, be able to hold our own. Yeah, I think we can. We wouldn't be here if we didn't think we could. I, I, yeah, we can win it. <laughs> there's 98 people here that can win the race. Uh, we're one of them. Right now it's time for the first heat of the first annual dream to begin. And to call all the action, here is track announcer Jerry Hyam. One lap signal going up. Clark Ford pace car will pull off. C.J. Rayburn and Bob Burris, your pace setters up front. A lot of good chargers behind him. You got Audie McWilliams, Kevin Weaver, Chris Patterson, and Steve Francis. You got Larry Moore back here, Ronnie Johnson. This should be a Danny, our first heat. Francis is 
running in that four spot. Way up high is Weaver to try to get by. He picks up that second spot. CJ down on the inside is first with the lead. Kevin Weaver second, then you got CJ Rayburn running third. Bob Burns, new your man on top. Kevin Weaver, CJ Rayburn, Audie McWilliams. to get into the dream, Kevin Weaver. Finishing second, 11B was Bob Birch, he's also in. 
And also, C.J. Rayburn gets his way in, so those three cars will advance into tonight's feature. So we got three, and we'll pick up three more out of this heat. Pace setters, Jesse Lay, Mike McWilliams, your top two cars. Slowly coming out of three, a 13 turn number four. They pick up the pace. We got a green flag, and our second heat is underway. Bloomquist with a quick move on the inside, trying to pick up a spot. He's got his way up to third. Now to second, trying to bid for that top spot. Right now it's Jesse Lay, Scott Bloomquist, and Mike McWilliams. Jesse Lay, your leader. Jump in nine, running fourth. Bidding out on the inside, they get side by side. Charlie Swartz also trying to follow him through as the yellow comes out. Yellow comes out for Ed Houndshell in 25. One in, 14 laps to go. This is our second heat. And they pick up the pace as the green comes out. Bloomquist down on the inside of Jesse Lay to try to pick the lead, but Lay able to hold him off. Mike McWilliams still sets third. Trying to put on move on him has jumped on the inside. Can't get by. Now he keeps it sticking and he gets by. They get together just a little bit. Charlie Swartz dumps down on the inside. Swartz picks up that third spot. He saw two of them in trouble. He took advantage of it. Charlie Swartz now running third. Johnny on the spot. Bloomquist down on the inside of Lake. Coming out of turn number two. Side by side, they'll go to three and four. We got him in trouble in the back stretch. They spin around. It's like the 18 of McWilliams developed a flat tire. The yellow comes out. They pick up the pace one more time. On the restart, Bloomquist looks down to the inside again. We're going to race side by side through one and two. Bloomquist does the slide. Able to get by. Charlie Swartz almost got it up into the wall, but I think he gathered it in time, I believe. He's trying to hold on to it. It'll be Bloomquist. Play. And jump. Up and nine spinning, but able to keep the car rolling. Bloomquist, Lay, what a battle for that third spot. Freddie Smith right there, battling with John Gill at two. John Gill now sits in third. Well, you can see now what the problem is on Randall Chump at number nine. There goes Bloomquist, Lay. Freddie Smith now takes over that third spot. Freddie Smith now running third. Yellow comes out. Randall jumps at nine. Comes to the halt in turn number two. The one lap signal will go out this time. The one lap signal will go up. Look for a start next time around. Looking to pick up three more out of this heat. Start. Scott Bloomquist, 
Jesse Lay and Freddie Smith, your top three. Then it's Mason, followed by John Gill. Down on the inside of Gill is Rick Mucklin at 12. Freddie Smith gets by Lay and picks up that second spot. Freddie Smith on the move in pursuit now of Scott Bloomquist. Jesse Lay, your top six. Still Bloomquist, Freddie Smith, and Lay. John Mason's got that hood flapping pretty bad right now. Top three, looks pretty secure right now. 10 laps are in, five to go. Mason giving it all he can to try to catch up with Jesse Lay for that third spot. His top three are still the same. coming by us one more time. They're one and two. Still Jesse Lay holding on to third, but Mason trying to find the right combination to get by to pick up that last transfer. Mason looks to the high side of Lay, trying to see if he can't find some running room. Lay sitting in the middle. Mason right up behind him now, right on his bumper. The yellow. Again, all cars instructed at the driver's meeting to drive single pile above the pylon. Driving below the pylon would result in a jumping penalty. Starter looks to field over. It's up to Scott Bloomquist to set the pace as he does at the pylon. The green flag is out. We're going racing. Again, it's Scott Bloomquist out in front, car number 18. But he's moved in second, but now the battle for the transfer position. Jesse Lay holding down that final transfer spot in car number six. But look behind him, car number 72, John Mason. And car number 12, Rick Auckland, all trying to advance to the A-Bay. The white flag is out. One lap to go for your race leader. Bloomquist in 18, Freddie Smith in double zero. And Lay in six. We'll come to the checkered flag. That's the end of heat number two. Let's have a nice round of applause for the winner of that second heat, car number 18, Scott Bloomquist. Coming in second, car double zero, coming from the middle of that pack, Freddie Smith in the double zero. And finishing third in car number six, Jesse Lay. up again.
David Gibson. Settling into that second spot as Lawhorn goes high and gets by. Here comes Wendell Wallace up to that second spot. Wallace now running second. Lawhorn first. Darrell Lanigan on the high side picks up that third spot. John Lawhorn. Wendell Wallace. Darrell Lanigan, those are your top three. Still running fourth. Then you got the 71s of O'Neill and R.J. Conley. O'Neill down on the inside of Conley, trying to pick up a spot as they come out of turn number two. See what they do through three and four. They got Gibson in front of them. Conley slides by between two. Moving very fast up there in car number 34 or 44. Coming past us one more time. Lawhorn, Wendell Wallace, and Lanigan, your top three. Then it's Conley, Gibson, Don O'Neill, and Kevin Hart. Top three still the same, right there together. Lawhorn, Wallace, and Lanigan. Way up on the high side. Don O'Neill picks off Gibson, picks up another spot. Trying to follow him right on through is Harden in 34. And he does. Yellow coming out, yellow coming out. Fitzpatrick in 57, the car stops up there in turn number two. Still Lawhorn. Wallace and Lanigan, those are your top three. If they can stay there, they'll advance into tonight's dream feature of 100 laps. We pick up the pace, we go green, we're back to racing. Lawhorn Wallace. And Lanigan. Leaders will come by us one more time right down here in the front stretch. Bubby James and Kevin Hart doing some racing back there further in the pack. John Mulhorn grabs that out on top and he's been there for a while. Lawhorn from just down the road in Phillipsburg, Ohio, leading this our third heat. Wendell Wallace still sets in second, and Darrell Lanigan in that third spot. R.J. Conley is fifth. Don O'Neill is fourth. Don O'Neill is fifth. And David Gibson running sixth. We're halfway through this heat. Still the same, but Lanigan's going to get a little pressure now. R.J. Conley at 71C, closing in on him very quickly, coming right with him. This John O'Neill in 71. So the 271, the 71C and 71, putting pressure on Daryl Lanigan for that last transfer spot. That's where your race is at. John Mulhorn still your leader. we have completed 10, five to go. O'Neill taking a peek on the inside of Conley, nothing there. Mulhorn still showing the way around. Wendell Wallace got a strong hold on that second spot. The race is for three, four, and five. Lanigan, Conley, and O'Neill. One of 
one and two place cars coming past us now. Right behind him is that battle for three, four, and five as Fitzpatrick down on the inside of those three. White flag will be displayed next time around. A white flag the next time around. Is there enough time for Connolly to get by landing it? Right up on his back bumper now. Let's see if he's got something in mind. It almost cost him there. Paul Horn and Wallace, one, two, landing and still steady third. Here they come to the checkered flag of the third eight. about a nice round of applause for the winner of that third heat from right down the road in Phillipsburg, Ohio, the 05 of John Lawhorn. Coming in second. Car number six was Wendell Wallace. Coming in third in car number 29 was Daryl Lanigan. So those three cars now make it into the dream feature. Laycomb and Warren, the guys responsible for getting this heat underway. This heat's their command right now. Make sure we bring them into turn number four and get them started right on the spot. They slowly begin to pick up the pace. Green flag comes out. We got to start. They mix it up. We got one up into the wall. Got one spinning. Another one hit. Car spinning was Kevin Claycomb in 28. Also involved. One B of Steve Warren. And Gary Engel in 15. Claycomb gonna take it back into the pits. This is our fourth heat. Watch for a start this time around. Now it's Randy Balch and Randy Woodling. Race is now in their command to get her going. Tough break for the two guys in that front row of Claycomb and Warren. Kind of a nice break for the rest of the field, though, as the green comes out, and we'll try it again. Randy Woodling in 75, and we've got them all mixed up once again. Randy Boggs in 17 comes to a stop in turn number two. On the restart, Sparks in seven, but Woodling from the high side grabs the lead. Randy Woodling in 75, Sparks right behind him. And he got Delmas Conley in 71. Along with Gensman in 25, the seven up car, starting to make a move as Rhodes, way up on the high side. Randy Woodley, Jay Sparks, Delmas Conley, that's your top three at the present time. Trying to make a bid. Picks them off very slowly coming through. Lose a little bit of a bite. Drops back once again. Still Randley Woodley in 75. Jay Sparks. And Delmas Conley. Command Sparks. 
top three have been the same the last couple laps. We get four down. Randy Willing in command of this one. Park still holds on to second. Delmas Conley still setting their third. John Rhodes is fourth. Andy Gensman is fifth. Bill Fry running sixth. Boggs getting a little high between one and two. Brushed the wall just a little bit, but gathered it back in. Halfway through our fourth heat, halfway through. Top three still the same, halfway through it. Randy Woodling got the lead from the start and stays right there. Jay Sparks is second. Delmas Conley still third. And you got John Rose. Andy Gensman and Fry. Fry looking down to the inside, trying to make a move on Gensman. Car 22, Jeff. Pulled back. Steve Phipps is pulled into the pit, so he's out of this heat. Good battle right now for four, five, and six as they go at each other. Still Randy Woodling. Jay Sparks and Delmas Conley. Lap number 12 will now go by the board. Bill Fry right on the tail against but still trying to find the right combination to get by to pick up another spot. Leader coming past us again. Bill Fry in 66 and Woodling in 25 get it together back to back. Can everybody make that turn and get by Fry as he comes to halt the top of turn number one? Watch for a restart with 13 down and two to go. They pick up the pages. Randy Woodley had command since the beginning. He's still got command right now. Some close racing up there in one and two, but everybody getting through. White flag. White flag coming out this time for Woodley. Conley. And Rhodes. Checkered flag will come out this time around, and we'll have three more into the dream feature. Here comes your winner, Randy Woodley. How about a nice round of applause for the winner of that fourth heat, the 75W of Randy Woodley. Coming in second in car number 71 was Delmas Conley. Coming in third, the seven-up car of John Rhodes. So those three cars now advance into tonight's dream feature.
Miller, Mark Collier, and Snapel were scheduled for this but didn't make the call, and we'll watch for a start this time around. This being the 15th, the green comes out, and we're off and running in this one. They're right there together in the front of that pack. Kevin Roderick, Rice running second. Johnny Johnson is running third. Then it's Mike Duvall in the F1. Don Seaborn in 11 and Billy Moyer in 21. And Donnie Moran in 99. Moyer looking to the high side, trying to look for some running room around Seaborn. Cannot find it. Moran down on the inside of him. The yellow out. The yellow comes out. 53 and turn number two comes to rest. On a restart, 14 to go. Roderick, Bryce, and Johnson, those are your top three. Running fourth is Mike Duvall, then it's Don Seaborn and Billy Moyer. We pick up the pace again with 14 to go. trying to look for some room to get by Moyer. Race up front. GR1 closing in. Donnie Seaborn, 11, gets by Mike Duvall. Three of them get together. Duvall and Moyer get together. Also being involved, quite a few of them want to sort this one out. Still Kevin Roderick. Jerry Rice, Johnny Johnson, your top three. Billy Moyer at the back of the pack. He's going to have to do a lot of work now, even to make a C. Roderick and Rice. Rice down on the inside, trying to slide by. Can he make it work? They're side by side. Still side by side, trying to slide up. Roderick Rice gets by. Jerry Rice now running second. Here comes Donnie Moran as Donnie Seaborn is now up to third. Seaborn now running third. Donnie Moran in 99. Turn four, we got a yellow out. Johnny Johnson in 99J comes to a halt. Just coming out of turn number four. Three good laps in. This is our 15th to determine the outside pole position of the dream feature. Right now it's Jerry Rice in ZR1, Kevin Roderick in 25R, and Donnie Seaborn in 11, and then Donnie Moran in 99, your top four. race right now is for that third spot. Moran trying to work around Seaborn. Still Jerry Rice, Roderick. Moran down on the inside working on Seaborn side by side. They go to three and four. Moran does a slide job coming right back on him as Seaborn. They'll come by the front stretch. Good battle for that third spot. That's the last transfer Get into that feature. Walk back and forth on that race. Seaborn and Moran still going at it. Jerry Rice in command. Kevin Roderick running their second. The race continues for that third spot. Moran tries to look down on the inside of Seaborn again. They're going to race side by side through three and four. Moran will try the slide once again. Seaborn's going to try to come right back, but this time Moran cuts him off. Moran picks up that third spot. Jerry Rice.
Bryce from his VR1, your leader, coming by as we're halfway through it. Kevin Roderick and Donnie Moran, those are your top three. Boyer growing very hard at 21 to get his way into that B main. Eighth right now, he has to get to that sixth spot. Battle going right now between Rodney Franklin, Donnie Moran now running second. Moran's got it hooked up right now, runs in second. Moyer moves up another spot. Billy Moyer needs to pick up one more spot to at least make it into the B main. He goes to the high side, looking for room around Rodney Franklin. Moyer gets by. Boyer now charging hard. He got himself into the B-Main after coming from the back of the pack. Jerry Rice in the ZR1. Donnie Moran in 99. Still Kevin Roderick in 25R holding in that third spot. Boy, he's going to be pressured right now by Donnie Seaborn. Seaborn looks to the inside. Has to slide back up. Comes your race leader one more time fastest. Battle right now for that third, fourth, and fifth spot. Roderick, Seaborn, and Denny Filter, who came from the back of the pack. White flag, white flag coming out. Seaborn picks up that third spot. Filter coming right through with him. Kevin Roderick gets in the wall between one and two. He comes to a halt between one and two as the yellow came out. Quite a battle was going on for that last transfer spot between Seaborn, Felker, and the 25 of Roderick. Denny Felker in 16 started way at the back of the pack outside of that last row. He has worked his way up to the fourth spot into contention. Billy Moyer also has a chance yet to make that feature. Two laps to go. He is now running fifth. Still, Jerry Rice, Donnie Moran, battle for three, four, and five. Seaborn, Felker. Oh, and they get together. What a break as Moyer gets by. That's Seaborn in 11. But the guy that's got command of this one right now, the ZR1 of Jerry Rice. Still got two racing laps to go. A lot could happen. Remember, the winner of this gets the outside pole position in the dream feature coming up later tonight. They pick up the pace. Jerry Rice in the ZR1. Donnie Moran right on him. Denny Felker at 16 and Billy Moyer at 21. Next time around, a white flag will be displayed. You can bet Moran would like to make a move on his last lap to pick up that last outside starting position. But right now, it's still Jerry Rice. They've got to find a way by him, and I don't think they're going to do it. Rice comes to three and four. Trouble in the back stretch, and we've got two together, but the checkered flag will come out. How about a nice round of applause for the winner of that 15th, the ZR1 of Jerry Rice. Coming in second, a 99 car of Donnie Moran. And coming in third and doing a great job coming from the back of the pack, Denny Felker in 16.
race is now turned over to Dave Gray and it's Jack Hewitt. Starts down there in turn four. Gray and Hewitt. They slowly pick up the pace. And the 16 is underway. It's Jack Hewitt from the high side. Finally right on through. It's Pete Parker in 10 and second. Third will be Bob Pearson, 32. And Jack Boggs in B4 will be fourth. Jack Hewitt, Pete Parker. And Bob Pierce, your top three, as we complete one circuit. Pierce taking a peek down on the inside of Parker. Pierce and Parker and Boggs right there together. Three still setting there the same as Hewitt still leads it. Parker, Pearson, Boggs. Jack Hewitt, 21, still in command as the fourth circuit has been completed. Pete Parker still setting there second. Got a yellow coming out, yellow come out. Got a car got on the high side of turn number four. Jimmy Mars in 28. They pick up the pace once again with 12 laps to go. Hewitt, Parker and Pierce. Bog setting there fourth. Jimmy Mars running fifth. Gray running sixth. Still Jack Hewitt in command as this will be lap number five coming by us. Off the pace is car 17, Greg Williams. Greg Williams pulls back in. Still Jack Hewitt, Pete Parker and Bob Pierce, one, two, and three. Jack Fogg still find, trying to find a way around to get into that feature. Trying to make one of those cars in front of him just make the side a slip and he'll get by. All right there together. Still Hewitt, Parker, Pierce, and Boggs. got one spinning. We got one spinning. That's car number 91, Brian Dunaway. He gets it spun around. He'll get back to the racing action with six laps in. And we pick up the pace again. Hewitt, Parker, Pierce, and Boggs. Then it's Jimmy Mars and the 1J of Davey Johnson. Josh Tarter in T20. Dennis Gray in three. Vanderveen gets by him, picks up a spot. Troy Vanderveen in 57 moves up another one. Halfway through it this time around. We'll be halfway through it this time around, Hewitt. At the halfway point, still in command. Still Jack Hewitt, Pete Parker, and Bob Pierce are top three. Boggs is going to be looking for a chance to get by. Boggs right up on his tail now. Boggs looks inside. Can't find enough to get through. Ball still hanging there for 
still at Jack Hewitt's race at this point. If he can keep it there, Pete Parker, Bob Pierce, and Bog still looking for room. And the yellow coming out once again. Got one spun between three and four. That'll slow it down again. Barry Hall in 28 spinning again. This time he's going to bring it back in. So Barry Hall will drop out and bring it back in. This year's sixth and final eight. We're going to take three more out of this one to make it to the dream feature. We'll pick up the pace again. We go back to the green. Hewitt, Parker, and Pierce. That's the way they've been since the beginning. Ball still there for us. Still fifth. Getting pushed just a bit from the back by Davy Johnson. Gathers it back in. We continue to race. Jack Hewitt, Parker, and Pierce. by Bob Pierce. He hasn't yet. And time is running out on him. A lap 13 coming up. Boggs looking to the inside of Pierce. Pierce able to hold him off one more time. Next time around, a white flag will be displayed. White flag will be displayed. Here comes you into the white flag. Parker, Pierce, and Boggs. Jack Hewitt coming out of turn number four. There he is. How about a nice round of applause for the winner at 16th, car number 21 from Troy, Ohio, Jack Hewitt. Coming in second in car number 10 was Pete Parker, and finishing third was Bob Pierce in car number 32. So those three cars now make it into the dream feature. Twelve laps. Top four, tag the tail of the B main. Larry Moore, Dennis Irv. Top six, top six will tag the tail of the B. They'll pick up the pace. We got a whole bunch of them in trouble. Joe Izo, Jeff Mounts, Troy Vanderveen. They'll pick up the pace. It's Larry Moore in the M1. Dennis Erb in 28. Bubby James in 01 is second. Then it's Dennis Erb. Jeff. Bill Fry running fourth. Stewart running fifth. Rodney Franklin at 24. Those are your top six. Stuhler at 44. Who's up another spot? C. 
he works his way by the 66 car of Bill Fry. Larry Moore in charge of this one. Bobby James right behind him. Dennis Irvin, 28. Stuller in 44. Bill Fry in 66. And Rodney Franklin in 24. Stuller in 44 now running third. Fry now running fourth. Herb now running fifth. Race for that last transfer for a chance to move up between Rodney Franklin and Conley in 71. Halfway through it, Larry Moore's got it well in command here in the C-Main. your race leader comes by us one more time and you get the Bubby James in the one car. Gary Stewart in 44, Bill Fry in 66. Dennis Herb in 28, still holding on that last transfer spot is Rodney Franklin in 24. now being completed for Larry Moore. Stuller now runs second. He gets by Bubby James. Stuller now in that second spot. He's got it hooked up pretty well. White flag. Larry Moore will come to the checkered flag. Larry Moore will win the C main. Then it'll be Stuller, followed by James and one. Then it'll be Bill Fry. Dennis Herb in 28. Stuller and Conley battling for that last spotted a chance to advance, and it's going to be Franklin. How about a nice round of applause for our winner of our C? It'll be Larry Moore in car number M1, finishing second. It was Gary Stuhler in 44, and he got the one car of Bubby James, car number 66 of Bill Fry, 28 of Dennis Erb, and 24 of Rodney Franklin. Those cars will advance into the B main. Franklin didn't come out. Look for a start next time around. Going for 15 laps. Taking the top four to make it into the dream feature. They pick up the pace. Audie McWilliams grabs the lead from the inside. Mason right with him. Gensman in 25 and RJ. Billy Moyer running fifth. Jeff.
Jack Balls is running six. Conley down on the inside against them, looking to pick up the third spot. And he does. Conley now running third. Here comes Boyer looking down on the inside, trying to find some running room around Gensman. Jack Boggs is going to stay right with him. Oh, Eddie McWilliams in car number 10 has this one in command right now. John Mason is running second. Then it's Conley. Here comes Gensman, Boyer, and Boggs. Those are your top six. We only take four. by on a backstretch. Turn two, we got one spun. That's Bubby James. Watch for a restart next time around. The orange cone back there. Everybody has to pass on top of it. And that's where it begins. Turn number three. B. McWilliams, Mason, Conley, Gensman, Boggs, and Patterson. Those are your top six. Everybody keeps going. Good bit of driving. Everybody keeps the machines running. Boggs and Conley got together, but they brought it back under control. And Chris Patterson moves up quite a few spots. Patterson now fourth and bidding for third. Chris Patterson now third. Andy Ginsman fourth. Still Audie McWilliams. John Mason, Chris Patterson, Andy Gensman, still your top four. Oh, we got one spinning. That's Hillard Miller. He'll come to a rest between three and four. The yellow comes out again. It's Mason, Patterson, Gensman. Moyer in 21. Penalized, he has to go back for jumping on a restart. Charlie Schwartz in one. Stuller in 44. One J of David Johnson of the cars we can see. Sixty, 66 of Bill Fry and 
We'll wait to get a number on the other car involved. The 15 of Gary Engel, the 15 of Gary Engel. Spinning in the back stretch up into the wall. We got two more spinning on the back stretch. Sixty-six and fifty-three, the two cars involved in the back, they stopped on the back stretch. Sixty-six able to keep the car going. And the fifty-three also back under power. 28 car coming through, Jimmy Mars. We pick up the pace. Boggs looking to the high side against, but Jack Boggs momentarily gets by. Boggs now running fourth. McWilliams, Mason, Chris Patterson, and Jack Boggs. Here comes O'Neill. O'Neill now fifth. Oh, and Gensman gets him right back, and he loses two spots. Just followed him right on through is Ronnie Johnson. Still Audie McWilliams, Mason, Patterson, and Boggs. Boggs looks down to the inside as we're halfway through. Here comes your top four right in front of you. Buddy McWilliams, John Mason, Chris Patterson, and Jack Boggs. Boggs down on the inside of Chris Patterson again. Side by side, they come through three and four. Boggs picks up another spot. We got one up in the wall. Andy Gensman in 25. McWilliams, Mason, Patterson, and Boggs, your top four. They're hoping to stay there, but there's a lot of guys behind them hoping they can pick one of them off. And Advance into the night's feature, and we're going to pick it up again. Seven laps to go, looking for the last four starting positions. Boyer's picked up a couple spots now, or one anyway, he's running eighth. McWilliams, Mason. Patterson and Boggs yet. Williams keeping it right in that center groove, right where he wants to be. Catch me if you can, he says. Catch me if you can. But Williams, Mason. Patterson and Boggs still the top four with a chance to advance into the dream feature. Boggs still trying to work a way around. Chris Patterson, but Patterson right there holding him off. He's holding on to that third spot. down inside of him once more. Patterson hold him up. Here comes Boggs trying it again. White flag this time around for Audie McWilliams, as well as Basin, Patterson, and Boggs.
They'll race to the checkered flag. How about a nice round of applause for the winner of our B Main and advancing will be Audie McWilliams in car number 10. Also going into tonight's feature in car number 72 is John Mason, finishing third in the race. Chris Patterson in the OP, and finishing fourth, car B4, Jack Bogg. So those four cars now make it into the dream feature. Guys dicing back and forth, getting those tires warmed up. You can see them doing the best they can to keep them tires, get them warmed up before we go for 100 racing laps. Only going to be one winner, and who's it going to be? Everybody's got a chance. coming around and that four of breath as they come by you. Let's have you wave at them. We're going to wave back to you. Famous four of breath. Here they come. Everybody on your feet. Let's send them off. 24 of the best. At the best place to race Eldora Speedway. Here they come. It could be anybody's race. This will be a good one. Going for 100 races left. $100,000 to win. back out and everybody will fall in order and we'll get ready to go racing. We're not too far away from the start. Are we ready? The pace truck pulling off. Clark Ford pace truck pulling off. Everybody back away from the fence. Everybody back away from the fence, please. Race now is in the command of Jack Hewitt and Jerry Rice, your two pole cars. As you can see, in this field of cars, a lot of chargers behind them, going into turn number three. Bunching up, pulling it up just a little bit. Coming into four, we got a green, and it's Jerry Rice and Jack Hewitt one and two. Everybody searching their way through turn number one. Everybody through one and two. Jerry Wright, Jack Hewitt, Kevin Weaver, John Mulhorn, Scott Bluthquist, and Freddie Smith, Randy Woodley, and Delmas Conley as they sort their way through. Jerry Rice. 
Jack, Jack Hewitt, Scott Bloom with your top three. Here comes Freddie Smith. Bloom with right behind Hewitt. Bloom with applying the pressure to Jack Hewitt now. Still Jerry Wright. Then we got Jack Hewitt. Scott Bloom with Kevin Weaver and Freddie Smith. John Mohor and Delmas Conley. We got him spun. Jack Hewitt up into the wall. Him and Kevin Weaver. Hewitt stopped at turn number two. He stopped up there in turn number two. Jerry Rice and the ZR1. Scott Bloomquist, Freddie Smith, John Mohorn, your top four. We'll go back to racing action. in nine laps has moved himself from 10th to 3rd. Delmas Conley, John Mulhorn, Donnie Moran, Jerry Rice, Randy Woodley. And you got Pete Parker.
back up again on lap 87. Luke West off and running, leading that field around. Donnie Moran down on Donnie Moran down on the inside of Lawhorn comes up to that four spot. Donnie Moran up and running. Moran now four. Donnie started in the 11th position. Donnie started 11th. He is now four. Look with Smith, Conley, and Moran, your top four. Conley all coming. 
That slower car is Kevin Weaver, and he's not going to give in to anybody. If you want to get by me, he says you're going to have to earn it. Bloomquist right on his back bumper. Takes a peek to the inside, nothing there. Smith and Moran right with him. Delmas Conley still fourth. John Mulhorn still hitting in fifth spot. Running six is Randy Woodley. Moran finally gets by Weaver. Smith comes with him. Moran comes right with him. They one go, they all go. All three playing follow the leader. You show the way and I'll follow you. They get by a slower car. Elvis Conley still hanging in there in that fourth spot. Now they're going to be in pursuit of Jesse Lay. Those three cars, one, two, and three, running together, searching their way through the slower cars. Top three still running hard. Last car between them and Conley. Then here's your fifth place car. What a battle right here for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Chris Patterson up to twelve. Remember, Patterson started back at 22nd. Your top cars all together, yet still behind Jesse Lay, Ruth Quinn, Smith, and Moran. Elvis Conley still in the fourth spot. Both with that slower car in front of him is definitely not running away from it. Freddie Smith and Donnie Moran hanging right with him. Long way to go in this one yet. Bloomquist just bidding his time. Not going to do anything too drastic at this time to get by the slower car of Jesse Lay. Jerry Rice in the CR1 came to a halt in the back stretch. Jerry Rice in the CR1 is coming to a halt in the back stretch. Now he fires it back up and pulls it back into the pit area. Still anybody's race at this point. Those top three cars are going to have an open track now. Now we're just going to see how strong one of these three cars can be. One twist stronger than the other two. About the last traffic in front of him. Can he run away from them? Will Freddie Smith and Downey Moran stay right with him? We're going to find out right now with a clear track in front of them. Top three, Freddie Smith hanging right with him. Bloomquist, Smith, and Moran. Lap car of Weaver, your fourth place car of Elvis Conley. Now able to get 
by the slower car of Weaver. Following him right on through is Darrell Lanigan in 29. And Bob Pearson, 32. six and seven all running together. Down on the inside is Lanigan, looking to get by Lawhorn. They're gonna race side by side. Oh, they get together, Lanigan brings it back. They got together just a little bit, but he was able to gather it back in. Those top three still running pretty hard. Luke Quist definitely not running away from them. Won't be too much longer than that. Three slower cars right in front of them. Lay, McWilliams, and Weaver. They get by Weaver again. Here comes Delmas Conley, your fourth place car. Followed by Lawhorn, Lanning, and Pierce. Donnie Moran down on the inside of Freddie Smith, making a bid for that second spot. Couldn't quite do it. Audie McWilliams, slower car in front. Rootquist is able to get down below him and get by. Freddie Smith's gonna follow him, and Donnie Moran is also gonna follow right on through. Now they'll be in pursuit of Jesse Lay. together when they go through the slower traffic. As soon as one makes the dip, they all go. Bloomquist, Smith, and Donnie Moran. Bloomquist looking to the inside of Jesse Lay. Couldn't quite do it. Freddie Smith looking for a hole. All right there together. Not going to get him any tighter net for those top three spots. And Delmas Conley is beginning to close in on him just a little bit. Jesse Lay staying right there. He says, you're going to have to earn it to get by me. I don't want to be lapped. Lundquist looks for just a little bit of a hole to try to get by Jesse Lay. But he's going to be very careful and bide his time to get by because he is the leader. Delmas Conley right up behind Audie McWilliams now to try to put him down, down on the inside of him. Audie won't let him through, but maybe the next time he will. Almost back to back, they almost hit nose to tail. Bloomquist goes to the high side of Lay. Freddie Smith's gonna follow him, but Donnie Moran isn't gonna get past him right away. Moran's gonna have to figure out his own strategy to get by. Bloomquist and Smith. Jesse Lay in between that and Donnie Moran, your third place car. That'll give Delmas Conley a chance to catch up to Donnie Moran just a little bit. Top two still running together. Scott Bloomquist with Freddie Smith right with him. Donnie Moran still trying to work his way around the slower car of Jesse Lay. Hasn't find the right way to get by him yet, still trying to figure it out. While he's been doing that, Delmas Conley has come right up behind him in that four spot. The top two pulling away from three and four right now because of the slower car of Jesse Lay in between. Laps continue to tick off. Delmas Conley right up behind Donnie Moran. Freddie Smith looking to the inside of Bloomquist. Nothing there. They're going to come right up behind Chris Patterson now.
that book, Wiss and Freddie Smith continue to run one and two. They've got four slower cars in front of them. Elmas Conley on the inside of Downey Moran. Couldn't find what he needed to get by. He'll have to settle back behind him again. Donnie Moran still trying to figure out Jesse Lay to get by the slower car. Oh, they get together. Conley gets by. They gather it back together. Moran will lose his spot, but he's trying to get it back, and he does. Elmas Conley off the pace, and he's going to, oh, he comes into the wall right down here in the front stretch. Something evidently broke in the front of that car when they got together just a little bit. Well, pick up the pace again, and when they do, on the restart, Donnie Moran able to get by the slower car. Top three cars are running with open track ahead of it. Scott Bloomquist, Freddie Smith, and Donnie Moran. John Mulhorn still running fourth. Smith 
Chris Patterson in the OP car up against the wall, moving slowly as the yellow comes out. The yellow come out for Chris Patterson. He's going to pull it down and come back into the pits. Scott Bloomquist took the lead on the seventh lap. Here we are at 74, and he's still got the lead. But all the way from 7 to 74, Freddie Smith has been right with him all the way through it. Going through the traffic together, Freddie Smith hangs right with him. Donnie Moran is your third place car. Then you got John Lawhorn, Daryl Lanigan, Bob Pierce, Rick Auckland, and Danny Filker. pace again. Weaver in 32 trying to make a move. He does. Picks up another spot. Lanigan loses a couple. Oh, Bob Weaver gets together with... John Lawhorn is involved along with, I believe that's Pierce. And Daryl Lanigan. Those guys have been racing pretty hot and heavy for the last 40 laps, probably. Yep. 74 down and 26 to go. Bloomquist, Smith, and Moran, your top three right there together. Still anybody's race in those top three. Denny Felker is right there now. And we'll pick up the pace. into the pit area, pulls in in the back stretch. Freddie Smith right on a bumper of Scott Bloomquist. He's staying right there. And he got Donnie Moran and Denny Felker. Pete Parker at 10. Darrell Lanigan and Chris Patterson. Freddie Smith continues to put the pressure on Scott Bloomquist, not letting him run away. Freddie says, I want to stay right with you, buddy. Staying right on his tail in a battle coming now for that third and fourth spot, Moran and Felker. Parker, Lanigan, and Patterson. The leaders coming by us one more time, and then your third and fourth place car. There comes five, six, and seven. Down on the inside, trying to make a move. Moran is on the high side. Felker is on the low side. Felker gets by. Felker now running third. He's got that car hooked up. And the yellow comes out. It'll come out for Parker in 10th. Now 
19 laps to go. We'll pick it back up. Scott Bloomquist, Freddie Smith, Donnie Moran, and Danny Felker. All what? All what? One and two and three and four. Still Bloomquist, Freddie Smith, Felker putting the pressure on Moran once again for that fourth spot. And he got a lap car. Oh, something wrong with Donnie Moran. He pulls way off the pace. Donnie Moran is going to pull back in. Weston Smith. Felker running third. Landing it now fourth and Patterson running fifth. Comes one and two again. Freddie Smith staying right with Scott Bloomquist. The yellow back out. The yellow back out for Donnie Moran. Couldn't make it all the way around. He stopped in the back stretch. We pick up the pace. Both Quist, Smith, Felker. The landing in your top four. Fifth place car for the lap down is Jesse Lay at six. Your top four are running together. Nobody in between them. Nobody in front of them. Laps continue to tick off. Freddie Smith, he's been following for so long. Can he find the least little bit of a hole to get by? It's going to be interesting to find out. He's still got time as long as he stays right with him. I'm sure he don't want to do anything too stupid. Smith down on the inside of Bloomquist took a peek. Bloomquist stepped it up just a bit. Freddie took a look at this one to let him know, buddy, I'm still here. Belker staying right with him. Those two guys mess up trying to race and get by each other. Belker will slip right by. Don't forget about Daryl Ennigan back here in that four spot. He's still got a shot. One, two, three, and four all together. Slower car they get by. Ten laps remaining. So you got those top three right there together. Bloomquist, Smith, and Felker. Smith just continues to put the pressure on, follows him right on through. When's he going to try to make his move? He looked earlier. Wasn't quite there, but does he have enough? He did have a peak early. He's looking again. Down on the inside, Freddie Smith. He's going to get by, and so is Felker. Freddie Smith gets by, and so does Felker. Bloomquist having a little bit of a handling problem. That car's going sideways. He gathers it back in. Lanigan now running third. He lost the tire, the right rear tire. The yellow comes out. Your new leader, Freddie Smith in the double zero. Running second is Felker. Felker is right there with him. Danny Felker started from the 17th racing position. Darrell Lanigan, who was running third, started 15th in a race. Freddie Smith started eighth. So your race leader, Scott Bloomquist, Right side tire went down. He's back in the pits. We pick up the pace once again. 
Eight laps to go. Freddie Smith and Denny Felker. to win for the late models. Let's hear it for Freddie Smith.
you've had a hard time here in the past winning races. Are you finally glad to get a race under your belt here and make it all the way through? Well, you know, we won that full crown deal here, and uh, we come back and run, won this thing. So uh, I think we got a little bit of setup, you know, different than what we've always had, and uh, we're really pleased with the car. Out there in the beginning of the race, you just kind of worked your way up a little slowly and bided your time. Was you trying to save the car for the end? Well, no. Uh, we uh, we got, kind of got back up at the front and was got this as fast as we could, you know, because uh, we didn't want a runaway deal here. And uh, no, we, we kind of got up there just as quick as we could. When you was running behind uh, Scott there and you saw the tire go flat on him, what'd you think? Well, you know, it's, it's a real good thought there, you know, but, uh, you know, I know he hates it for himself, and uh, I, I really enjoyed his tire going down, you know, for a hundred grand. But, you know, uh, yeah, I really uh, I really think we had a good shot at this thing, you know, if his tire didn't go down. Did you think you'd ever in your life run a race to pay $100,000 to win? No, I still can't believe it yet. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I appreciate Earl doing all this, and I, I think he's got the only racetrack that can stand, you know, paying $100,000. And, uh, you know, just the uh, facility he's got and as nice a place as he's got, you know, we just had to come back and back every time. Last few laps of the race, were there any thoughts going through your head? Well, yeah, I was hoping my tire wouldn't go flat like Scott's did. But, uh, yeah, I, my tire felt pretty good, but I don't know how much rubber we still had left on it at the end. You ran a good race out there, and I guess $100,000 richer, and your sponsors and everybody here really has got to make you feel good. Yeah, our sponsors are Bazooka Base Tubes there, Baton Rouge and uh, GVS Race, and, and, uh, and they've really done a fantastic job. I mean, we keep the car up real good. we got good help, and uh, I just can't ask for no more, you know, than what they do. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you.